Hi, Sarah. And I have a share today. Um, I have this canvas, and it really just wasn't what I imagined. I had gotten these three burlap canvases. Um, I think they were like $1.99 at Michael's. They're just the, um, the flat kind, not the stretched canvas or whatever. Um, I did a little uh, stenciling on the background. Um, these words were an afterthought because the blue I needed to pull down, but like see how good Imagine came out. Um, I had dream in mind. I had pulled this photo, but when I went to put it together, I don't know. It just wasn't, I kind of did it in the ATC style that I do. Um, the collage style. I'm going to kind of try and, I should probably put it on a stand. That might be good. Um, you know, it's not horrible, but it just didn't come to get, this was so, it like depressed me. I don't know. I lost my mojo. It didn't depress me, but <laughs> I love how these letters turned out. I spent a lot of the day making these letters, which was really fun. I had a ton of them left and I'd done them before. Like these black ones, I think were from before. Um, and I was, uh, my desk was a mess, so I think I just have a couple of them on my desk. Here it is. I have art in the black, and I have this arrow. They were the original ones that I did, but then I did these, and I tried doing them with brown as a background, because I knew I was working with brown on this, I wanted to do brown on this canvas. So I did an art in the brown, I did art in like, and I put... Um, let's see, art, I have art and create, I'm pretty sure, and an end. But these were, these are the, um, Tim Holtz, like, I don't have the packaging anymore, but it comes, like, with all this different, uh, letters, symbols, numbers, and then the, like, backing things. They're, like, tiles. They're, um, I guess they're, uh, typewriter tiles, or no, it's, like, um, printing press type tile things or something but anyway um so it took me a while to do these and I actually sanded them so hard that I like sanded a piece of I like sanded so low to the skin anyway um but what I did like was that I um I changed them up a little bit and didn't uh just go black and brown so I did the like I put a couple different colors of um ink on here I also used my my new favorite, uh, <laughs> the not the rub and buff, I, Inca Gold. So I like rubbed the Inca Gold on the edges and stuff. And then I put the stress stickles because I had this blue, um, the broken china color. And so I like how that turned out. That's how I did the dream. So I did create and I did art. And I think I used the green um, Inca Gold on that one and the end, and then I did art. So I did, and I think these are actually a cool way to add something to a canvas. So that was like, great. Everything was kind of cool when I was doing that. I also did these. I just pulled, I think these were maybe tiles that I got from, um, I don't think I got them at Michael's or Joanne's. I think I got them at like Tuesday morning or something. I mean, they've been in my stash forever. I, I don't know. But I got Joy, Sing, Love, Dream, and Time. Because that was just what the letters made. It was almost like play and scrabble. <laughs> and I just glued them together and like onto this little strip of um, file folder to kind of give it that base to stick them to. And I thought that would be kind of cool on a canvas at some point. So I figured I'd make them up beforehand so that you just have them and you could let like put them on you know and I actually should have done some um vertically too you know instead of all going horizontally but I kind of ran out of letters so then I I put this together and this is what it came out like I, I knew I wanted to use my buckle so I just put a piece of paper through there I wanted to use the creamy colored burlap and some of my burlap flowers that I had oh I just threw that on there um, I don't know, you guys. It's just, I don't, I am not thrilled. I don't understand. I don't know what happened. And um, now I'm rambling. But what happened, so that, I kind of walked away and I was done. I mean, I don't hate it. I like how this key turned out. I actually 
colored that with um, my brown Sharpie, and then I used the UT on there and just hit it with more of my Inca Golds and stuff, so I like that, and I do like how the letters turned out. I love how the letters turned out. So, um, I mean, some good things, but just, I don't know. I'm just not thrilled. And so I made some ATCs today, and they made me much happier. I'm going to save the best for last because I always like to do that. Actually, this was the first one I made. I had never done anything with one of these clips yet, but I wanted to use burlap. I was kind of staying in the theme of burlap, and I hadn't done any ATCs. Oops. I'm sorry. Any ATCs with burlap. So um, these three are um, done with burlap, and basically it's just a piece of my favorite old... Um, file folders cut into the ATC size two and a half by three and a half and just pulled all my Tim Holtzy stuff again um, I wanted to make these chunkier like I generally keep my ATCs pretty uh, one dimensional like maybe a little bit of something but I I was not afraid I wanted I was even going to use until I used this brad I almost put one of these on and I probably should have like just a because I have them but this brad had the number, so I just put the brad on. But I used one of these little clips, and a, this says ideas, and some of the um, the silver stickers, the new silver stickers. I'm probably going to have to glue that down. And there's an, a corner piece of that. So I like it. Now this, I wanted to show you these too. These are very cool stamps that I got, I'm pretty sure, at AC Moore. They're by Inka Dinka Do. And they're word stamps. And I'd been looking for something similar to this for a while because I love the Chit Chat by Tim Holtz. And these are perfect. So this is Imagine on here. And I like the print and everything, but it's Passion, Create, Beauty, Explore. I mean, all the perfect words that you might want to put on an ATC or just even add to a canvas. You know, they're not that small. Believe is actually a nice size. Imagine is a nice size. I mean, you can see how big they are. So these are just little individual st stamps. I'll pull Imagine since I use that because you did have to break them apart. But by Inka Dinka Do. I'm pretty, you know what? I think I did get them at Michael's. I think. It's one of those two. So that's my first one. Then this one's the next one. I actually inked this with Broken China, I think it is. It's the teal color. Oh, Peacock Feathers. I love Peacock Feathers. And I did the same thing. I put the corners on again the silver corner. I wanted to put a clock, just a, uh, a wish ticket. This is one of the crowns from that, um, the grunge paper, and I, again, I UT'd it. I did it with my gold leafing pen, and then I UT'd it and rubbed um, the Inca gold, like, bronze color, put some gears, but the burlap, and then another brad. So that one turned out pretty cool. Just really, like, kind of industrial looking. That's what I was going for, and then this is my favorite. It's a little twist on the industrial because it's still burlap. It's still a little dimensional. It's got the, I like this burlap flower with the wood bead in the middle, but I used um, two little brads on these little flowers. And these are just like linen. Um, another one of the corners. This says secrets, and then this says hope. I love these hearts. I'm going to get another pack of these. These are super cute. These are his new, um, embellishments that he did um, that says hope with the butterfly so I put a butterfly up here and then a chit chat hope up there and I inked that with um, and it's it doesn't look as pink as I wanted. I wanted it to look pinker and then I even thought I should have done it in blue anyway but that's worn lipstick but it looks kind of almost orangey or ready but it's uh, supposed to be pink so that's it that's my share um, I'm I'm I don't know, guys. I don't know what's going on. I'm feeling kind of blah. Um, I don't really have any projects that I'm looking forward to at the moment. I actually have been looking at um, Art and Sassy. They're going to do a mail art swap, so I think I'll do that again. I enjoy the watercoloring. All right, you guys. And here's my canvas. Yucko, but I like this. Thanks for watching.